So in case you can't tell, Australia has betrayed us all and it's really, really bloody cold. Hello everybody, I am here today with the book courtship tag. The original video was created by Hi, I love books and I'll leave her channel down below and a link to the video. I just really fell in the mood for a book tag. So here we go, I have a lot of books. I have a lot of books. An initial attraction, a book that drew you in with its cover and I have two for this. Um, one of them I have read and one of them I just have not read at all. The one that I haven't read is the children's book and look at that gorgeous cover and oh, it's just so beautiful and every time I see it I'm like I love this book a lot yet I have never even opened the page. The next one that I bought purely based on the cover was A Thousand Splendid Sons by Carla Tosini and I really fell in love with this book when I read it. It was beautiful and I think that it was so poignant. How gorgeous is that cover? <sighs> What is first impressions of book that you bought based on the blurb or the summary? And for me, this was the disreputable history of Frankie Lando Banks. It's a really weird title. I don't like the title very much, but I like how it's described. It goes through her stages of life when she's 14, 15, 16, and, and I really enjoyed this book. It was witty, it was fun. It didn't, you know, it's not my favourite book in the world, but I liked that she was a girl that never took no for an answer, even when she was excluded from this all-male society. Three, Sweet Talk. Um, and this is a book with great writing. I have three books here, yay! First one is Life of Pi by Jan Martel. I fell in love with his style of writing. He creates the most beautiful images, and I just thought that this book was an absolute masterpiece. The next one is The Boat by Nam Lee. This book is a collection of short stories, but the way that Nam Lee writes is just so full of beautiful, beautiful prose and so full of these wonderful metaphors and ideas and I never felt it was cliche when I read this book. And there's also a lot of different styles of writing in here, so there's some book, there's some stories that are easy to read, some stories that are written completely weirdly, and he just experiments with writing in a way that I've never seen any author experiment with writing before. And the third one is Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale. The writing in this book just touched me deeply and I think that it lent the book this heartbreaking feel that was really needed to portray the story that was going on in here. Or, or question for, or premise for, or whatever you want to call it, is First Date, a book, a first book of a series which made you want to pick up the rest. And for me, this would definitely have to be The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith. Um, it was amazing crime novel, I really enjoyed it and I've said this before but I think it is the perfect book if you want to start getting into crime because it's absolutely wonderful and I felt the plot twist was really good as well. Question 5, whatever you want to call it, 5, number 5, um, a late, late night phone calls, a book which kept you up all night and I am not ashamed to say that when I read the Vampire Academy novels, I have the fourth book here, I pretty much binge read it all in about 3 days. Not only did I binge read this series, uh, Barely Sleeping, I also directly moved on to this spin-off series, Bloodlines, which is about Sydney and Adrian and sort of some of the other characters and it just sucked me in and by the end of it I just thought, you know, what is reality? A book that is always on your mind. For me, this is How I Live Now by Meg Rossoff. I forgot to get the book and I can't be bothered to get up and get it, but um, You've heard me, you've probably heard me talk about it before. It's amazing and it changed my life and I don't say things like this lightly. This book is my all-time favourite novel. I can reread it and I never get sick of it. Mostly because the characters are just constantly with me and I don't know why. I just feel so connected to all of them. Talking about it just, I don't know, it does things to me. Question seven, getting physical. <laughs> A book which you love the way it feels. For me, I have two. The first one is Best in Travel by Lonely Planet. This isn't a fiction book, but I just love the cover. I love going like... I like that it's not hardcover, it's squishy, it feels beautiful and tactile, and I've sort of tagged some of the places I want to go, and I just, I love it. And look at that cover, hey. Isn't that inspiring? Pretty sure that's New Zealand, eh? Nope, I reckon it's Italy. Anyway, it's just full of these gorgeous pictures um, of best places to travel in 2015 and I bought this on a whim, don't regret it at all. The second tactile book that I have that I love is this one which is also a non-fiction book and it's called Down to Earth, A Guide to Simple Living and I just love it, it's just thick and it's solid and it makes me inspired. Oh, question number eight. Meeting the parents! Ah! 
hate that. A book which you would recommend to your family and friends, and for me, uh, other than How I Live Now, which is, you know, I think you get the point by now how much I love it. Um, Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. I have yet to meet a person that hasn't enjoyed this book, and that includes men as well, because people look at this and they think, oh, it's such a girly book, you know, like he's talking about divorce, you know, she's gone to find herself and all this stuff, but I have yet to meet a person to dislike this book. It is beautifully written, it is really inspiring, it's funny, I laughed out loud so often, and Elizabeth Gilbert makes so many beautiful points about life, about what it means to be yourself, to, you know, follow what you believe in, and it sounds cliche, but she writes it in such an inspiring way. Chapter 9! Thinking about the future! It's a book series that you know you will reread, and this is <laughs> obvious. Um, Harry Potter. No need for explanation. My book courtship tag, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've read any of the books that I have here, please let me know, because as always, I love to talk about the books that I have read.